Billy from Mutation Creation. Today's video, we've got two clutches that uh, just started to crawl out of the eggs. So we're gonna show you what we do at this point. Um, not all of them are out. We'll show you how we open it up and give a bigger window or a bigger opening in the egg. And we get to sort of take a look at them out, you know, mostly out of the egg. Um, and when we do open up the bigger space, we get to look more of the animal. So I'm excited to do that, but first, Huge shout out to my man, Nick White from Eden Pythos. Oops, Morphs. Why do I do that? Oh, Eden Morphs. And not slacking on the back. Sweet. Hey, might as well. Yep. You. Shout out to Monterey Bay Morphs. Slacking on the back? Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh yeah, this has that cool snake in the background. So definitely not slack in there. Nope. And speaking of shout outs and, and not slacking, uh, we're gonna pass you over to Austin and he's gonna give you the YouTube shout out channel of the week. So for this week, we have Jesse from Freedom Breeder. He's a great guy, he does a lot of videos, not only on the racks he has, but also on the snakes. And really cool guy, check him out. He just passed 13,000 followers on YouTube, so let's try getting up to 15,000. Great content, I'm surprised he doesn't have more. Yeah, and uh, what's cool is I'm actually getting my first Freedom Breeder racks from him as well. So I'm gonna test them out and see what they are and give a review also, but I'm actually doing all my adults, switching them over to Freedom Breeder, give some love to Jesse, and uh, everyone's been talking about them, and it's like, ah, you know what? I've been dealing with ARS now for all, you know, probably over 12 or 13 years. So I'm like, ah, you know what? It, it's time to sort of upgrade and get a change. And uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a little different on having my magnet system, or maybe I'll have to find a way to Magnetizing. make the magnet, magnet. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, Jesse from Freedom Breeder, go check him out. Let's get into this. So here, this was the Mojave Clown female bred to the Pastel Leopard Ivory Het Clown. And I'm gonna get some paper towel ready. Five eggs. We did all right. So if you see, this is how I cut them. People say it's too big of a slit. I don't know why. It still houses them perfectly. It's still there. They crawl out on their own. I'll throw them out. And then what I do is before we get into them, I'm just gonna sort of lift this up. I'm gonna take these two eggs off. Okay, so they haven't come out yet. The other three have, so I'm just gonna carefully lift them up. And see how they, gotta just be careful. Take this one out. So we can take a look at these. So this here is a pastel Mojave yellow belly, 100% hat clown. This is, what is that a Mojave Leopard? Mojave Leopard Yellow Belly. Mojave Leopard Yellow Belly. 100%. 100% hat clown, and look at this one. This is a Pastavi Leopard. Yeah, wow. Insane. Wow. These are really beautiful. Maybe there's no Mojave in these two. I think that might just be, or at least this one. I think, I think that's a. I think it might just be a pastel leopard That's yellow a belly. pastel leopard yellow. What? Maybe, you know what? I can see the Mojave in here. Mm -hmm. Mojave can't be in everything, right? So. True, but I can see the Mojave in here. Like all the, the, the purplish tones. Yeah, that one looks more Mojave, but that one might just be a pastel Yeah, you know, you know what? Leopard. Looking at that, you, you probably... This is a pastel leopard yellow belly. That's just crazy. Oh, yeah. The Heck Clown Influence is definitely doing some wow. justice to it. So awesome. And now I'll show you what I do with the eggs. I have two. I'm just gonna do a little groove here and I'm gonna do a little groove here. And just while I do that, I'm gonna just put the lid back on. And what I do at this stage, okay? And these are both my clowns that aren't out. So if you notice in here, they're out of the sack. There's no veins or anything on the wall. At this stage, now I make a bigger opening. So make a bigger opening all the way around. Like so. 
I'm going to do one. Now this one here, this is a pastel leopard Mojave yellow belly clown, which is amazing. Insane. And I know why everything has to be yellow belly because it came from an ivory. So no guessing on yellow belly. Sometimes yellow belly's hard in some clown combos. But, and here's the same animal without the pastel. So this here, leopard, Mojave yellow belly, clown. And then the pastel version right here, I, I love it. I can't wait to see this out. I love it. It's almost like chocolate. It's almost like a chocolate brown color. Insane. And then now I just take this here. And even though they're, they've probably absorbed. Oh, I got one here. Oh, I didn't see it. So even though they've probably absorbed. Oh, there's the head. They've, all, they've probably absorbed all the yolk and stuff. I still don't take them out myself. I let them come out on their own. It could be in five minutes. It could be in a day or two. I, I just let them settle in. They come out on their own. That's just what I do. Um, but yeah, once again, look at this clutch. Just, Insane. just awesome. Even the het clowns are amazing. And everything is yellow belly. Just, ah, oh, real key to future combos. So I'm ecstatic and I can't wait to see you. I bet you that one's gonna have a crazy head stamp. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. And then this one here, oops. And this one here was the 10 eggs to the banana yellow belly pied to the uh, leopard. So as you see, two have already have come out. Throw them off and look at them. So this here, banana yellow belly hep pied. Sorry, <laughs> leopard yellow belly hep pied. And then the banana version. Um, yeah, I would say that's banana yellow belly also. So leopard yellow belly hep pied add banana and you get banana leopard yellow belly hep pied now let me just check quick it's supposed to be a male but it'd be amazing to see a female no it's a male so so what i'm going to do here quick is i'm going to take this tray out take the tray right out these guys are slither around and now I'll just do this just so that they stay. And I'm just gonna open up these eggs a little more. I don't have to, they will come out like the other two on their own. I just feel that um, for me, I get to get a bigger window. Plus some of them start going bad like over here, you know, so and especially this one here, so. I'll just move this to the side. That's a banana yellow belly hat pied. Here's another banana. Was able to hit two. Three? No, banana leopard. Oh. So this is another banana leopard. Possible yellow belly. So look at the difference the leopard makes. Really awesome. And we'll go over here. Another leopard. Probable yellow belly, hep pied. And these will all be females, the ones that are non banana. Let's see. That's just a normal, possible yellow belly, head for pied. Let me put some of these in now. So there's one, there's two, there's three. And the reason why I do this divot is so that it sort of cradles the egg. So if I move this, the eggs have a, you know, some sort of anchorage or something to sit on. So. Anchorage. <laughs> you know what I mean. They're grounded. They're grounded. They got some stability. Let's do this one next. He's almost out. So with these ones here, I'm going to go the opposite way. And usually when I do this, he'll pull himself back in. 
when I get around. As I say that, of course not. Come on, dude. Usually they just, come on, shift. There you go. They fly back into the egg. But not this guy. There's a leopard. I would say leopard yellow belly, het pied. Here's another one. There's another leopard, het pied, could be yellow belly. Really awesome. And this egg here. Now this egg here, if you notice, there's still a little membrane left on the walls. This side, not so much. So I'm gonna only do this side. So you see how there's still a little bit of a membrane on the egg, so I'm only gonna do that side because if you look on this side, see how there's a lot of veins still? I don't wanna touch those, and it's, like I said, the opening that's provided already for them is good enough. I'm just doing this to give them a bigger opening and, and have a window so I can actually just look myself. Scoot, 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 scoot. Nice big full belly. And this one here. And then the last one's gonna go right there. Now this last one, this egg's going ugh. Let me just see. I can open this up a little bit more. This was the big moldy nasty one. Austin's favorite. So I can take a little more off of this side. Like so. And just leave that be. That's basically what we do here. Not all the time. Sometimes when we go check on the eggs, um, they're already out on their own. Um, but when we do catch them, it, it's great. Just so now you can see sort of the variety and we get to see that's definitely a normal, you know, possible yellow belly, definitely normal. Leopard, 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 normal. Leopard and, and the two leopard bananas and then the regular banana, possible yellow belly, all 100% have pied. So, that's pretty good. We will put them back in the incubator until they fully come out and shed, and then we'll do an update again and put them away. So once again, huge shout out to Nick White, Monterey Bay, Eden Morphs, and turn around. It's in a, well, Freedom, Freedom Breeder. Breeder, there you go. It's gonna automatically load. So yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Keep the comments coming in and we'll see you soon.